Is the Trinity monotheism concept biblical? Is the Trinity monotheism concept written both in the Old and New Testaments? Yes. Please, remember our previous lessons on the Trinity monotheism concept in the Old Testament. Lesson number three. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God said his word. By his word, God created creatures. His word exists before creation. So, his word is not creature. As being told as a whole in those verses, God, his word, and his spirit are the only one God, not three gods. Lesson number four. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Exodus 20 verse 2. Lesson number eight. Doubtless you are our father, though Abraham is ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledges us not, Yahweh, you are our father, our Redeemer, your name is from everlasting. According to Isaiah 63 verse 16, the word Father figuratively refer to Yahweh. Relate this knowledge to lesson number 7. Trinity monotheism concept in the Old Testament. God, His Word and His Spirit are the only one God. The God name is Yahweh. Thus, Yahweh, His Word and His Spirit are the only one God. Yahweh is referred to with figurative word Father. Thus, the Father. His work and His Spirit are the only one God. 1 John 5 verse 7 For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Now, Compare the Trinity monotheism concept in the Old Testament to the Trinity monotheism concept in the New Testament.